Hello, it is almost motherfucking Sunday. Fuck off, asshole! Leave me alone! Don't you know it's fucking Sunday? upon us again and we're gonna jump right in we're gonna open up the lips rack i don't know why i called it lips other than i like lips and um you know i like to do things that i like on sunday so i'm gonna go ahead and call out some awesome stuff um First off, this patch. It's pretty awesome. And um, I gotta say, I mean, it was really a pleasure working with the modules here from the uh, from the toy box free racks. I mean, just I mean not free rack, free pack, <laughs> free rack. What friggin'? But look at all this. I mean, this is insane. This is for free right now. Just go to toyboxaudio.com and they're just giving this stuff to you. And then for some upgrades as well, there's a floor shakers pack and some other packs as well. But, I mean, the note sequencer, the mixer, the VCA, the distortion, I mean, effects, dudes. Come on, look at all this. Multiply, no merge, I mean, ports, randomizers, look at all this. This is insanity. How much cool stuff. And should be everything, everything I have going on here should be um, incorporated. The oscillator, the envelope, the dual VCA, the node sequencer. Pretty sure that's in the free pack. Node sequencer, yeah. This patch is just uh, super cool. So I'm just gonna let it kind of record and do its thing. I mean, that's the whole point, right? So let's explain what I got going on. The note in isn't doing much other than having a mod wheel control over a lot of stuff. And I try to keep to, um, so the, uh, about patch what did I call this thing patch cable here we go reactor patch cable it's probably better to just name that guy patch cable color you think I don't know also it's probably better to right align all this stuff you think I think I think so and then we'll say color <laughs> no and then uh, yeah that's what this thing is
patch cable color reference. That's what this is. And um, I can try to have it up. I guess I don't, I don't know if I can have it up. Maybe I can decrease the size of this window and have it up. There we go. That's not bad. Um, so what, what I've done is I've color coded all the cables so you could try to follow everything I've set up. And if you look, if you go through and watch the past few episodes and you'll kind of see everything that I've added as I added it. And I really didn't explain. I was just kind of intuitively like, okay, this is cool. What can I add next? This is cool. What can I add next? So what I decided to do is um, use uh, mainly two oscillators driving the overall, um, you know, rhythm of the patch. And I had this big Kodi Kodiak, Kodiak, Kodak, either Kodak or Kodiak. What is that? It's going to bug the crap out of me. I think that's Kodiak. Yeah, Kodiak. Big Kodiak sequencer. Um driving the overall patch driving the pitch of these two oscillators and uh, pitch is going to be red so you'll see that uh, I decided to just use the toy box note sequencer which does a fine ass job all on its own and it's a tiny little space that it takes up and it's just badass and I'm driving it using the second uh, division here on the clock divider and I'm using a much slower division from the clock divider as well to drive this other note sequencer. So this note sequencer is actually for... Maybe I can do some rearranging here too. I'm just noticing it's a little hard to follow. But this, I mean, all of these toy boxes are together. This whole toy box is a channel that comes in on uh, channel, where does it come in on? Channel three, I think. So, oh, and it comes out of distortion, yeah, into channel three. And it should be coming, because it's running on a much slower division, you see that it's happening a lot slower than this sequencer is running. That's the whole point. It's coming from uh, this fifth division here, which looks like it's a 16th. So here it goes. And I have the mod wheel also modulating a lot of stuff, but mainly the A input of just a ton of, th ton of things. So everything that you see lit up and I try to keep all the modulation cables blue so modulation is blue and it's mostly just going into the A and put up a lot of stuff so if you see the A uh, these little triangles or these little um, you know like things happen as I hit the mod wheel anytime you see this mod wheel light up here just know that everything that this thing is touching out to is it's going to start to add some color, some noise, or some sort of change to the sound. In the case of the toy box oscillator, it's uh, controlling the wave, uh, wave morph, looks like. So way from a kind of a blend of a little a little bit of triangle and it's more triangle and more of a morph you know more of a warp so um bend plus bends it to one side that's what it looks like i have it set to right now so there's all sorts of options here and i could continue to jack with this and uh, do different types of warps and different you know things i could do fm i mean there's all sorts of stuff that i'm not doing that I could be doing. There's a little bit of FM happening. I think I'm coming out of this and I'm going FM into, so these are the blue patch cables going FM into um, the Monarch and the Carrier. And then this is the, this is the bass thing that happens. It's about to happen again. Two. happens on channel three here and so I'm modulating all sorts of stuff with this note in 
the main cool thing is this reverb. <clears throat> and a lot of purple cables because everything else that's purple is just going to... Um, it's just uh, audio cables. So they're just going to the... In this case, the mixer. I got this mixer is going out into this mixer which is being blended with the effects loop so I basically have another loop you know from I think where do I have all this kind of connected out directly like how are the delays connected yeah so you know this is like an effects loop mixer and I ought to call that out actually it's probably a good idea so whatever mixer this is here, this is actually the effects loop mix. So I'll hide the structure view and now that now I know this is the mix for the effects loop. I could probably move, I wonder if I could switch, yeah, I could probably switch this VCA with this, there we go. Because this is running the pitch for this, you know, so, um, yeah, pitch cables, red. Gate cables are turquoise, or actually I'll label it like it is in, in the product, in the reactor. It's teal. So if I try to rename it, you see the color option is teal. And then there's blue. <clears throat> so everything that, uh, that I have patched in here, I have it color-coded so that you can hopefully follow what I got going on. I'm trying to explain it as best I can, too. It's kind of hard. It's kind of difficult to follow because all this stuff is set up. This is like your control right here, you know. Note in. Here's my mod wheel. And then the clock is running the clock division, which is running the gate signals to everything. You know? So all these gate signals are being controlled for the envelope for um, for the LPG, you know, and so these are my two, um, oh, I just realized that I'll switch between oscillator one, two, and three. Three different oscillator models, nice. Each with a unique character. Just try two, why not? And then uh, that's Monarch 1, so this is the uh, first oscillator in the patch. Here's West Coast DWG, the second oscillator, and then there is uh, Toy Box, number 3. And uh, this is all just being um, patched into the mixer, so this is the oscillator mixer. We ought to call that out. So... Oscillator mix. There we go. And then effects loop mix. And then um, mix out. That's essentially what this is. This is a delay crossfade. So, delay X. mix out mix out <clears throat> so this is a mixture of all of the signals coming out of the oscillator mix and the delay effects loop And then here's the reverb at the end.
it just surrounds reverb. So the first oscillator channel is just a Monarch channel, Monarch filter, and that's it. It's uh, controlled by a straight up, you know, bento box. These are the free, you know, VCA, ADSR. And West Coast, this uh, oscillator channel two, and this is just um, controlled by the West Coast LBG. It acts like a filter and a gate at the same time. And that's it for channel two. And then channel three is this bass thing that happens every so often, like right now. That's channel three. And that is going into, um, or that's controlled by, yeah, basically the same thing as the bento box, but just using the toy box version of the envelope and the just a dual VCA, standard VCA they have. And out of here into a distortion unit, just because if this is a bass, it's not really like an 808, but if you add an 808 you know, to this, and putting that through a distortion circuit is just naturally going to make it just come alive a little bit as well as this warp as well as everything I have coming out of this mod wheel so this mod wheel is affecting all sorts of stuff everything you see patched into the A input is very likely coming out of the mod wheel <clears throat> unless it's a VCA it's very likely coming straight out of mod wheel some sort of VCA or some sort of like low pass gate, you know, everything else. I tried the toy box reverb out, and we're gonna do that on one of these upcoming episodes. Let me tell you, holy shit. These guys at Toy Box are uh, genius. So I'm gonna go on mute. We're about 19 minutes in. I'm gonna do a little performo. And um, go radio silent. Just listen to the music. I've explained as much as I can, as thoroughly as I can, all the technical garbledy gook. And uh, now let's just create.
Until next time.